What's going on there, folks? Good Friday evening. It's here with Master here on the live stream. Uh, July 8th, 2022 is a date about 9.17 p.m. West Coast time in California for now, but that's subject to change. Latest quake shows a 1.2 earthquake here on the Earthquake 3D globe right around the California region. Seeing a little bit of activity ramping up here in California over the last 24 hours, but most of the movement has been over here along the Mariana Trench into the areas around the Indonesia Islands area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here across the USGS map showing the large scale activity ramping up here around the Mariana uh, Islands area. Originally, these a uh, couple earthquakes came in as a 6.2 and a 6.0 earthquake in the magnitude range but the usgs keeping that threshold well below uh, with a 5.8 and a 5.8 respectively in that area since then we've seen a couple upper fours in that uh, same area of the mariana trench so usgs kind of likes to keep the things calm right we got a 4.3 off the coast of japan here Pretty uh, somewhat deep, I'd say about 84 kilometers into the Japan Trench region. Now this area right here is a major subduction zone between the plates here. Got a uh, the Pacific plate subducting underneath this plate boundary, major subduction zone. And in terms of producing major earthquakes, that is the region. A uh, lot of activity ramping up throughout the Papua New Guinea area and also through the Java Trench where we've seen uh, uh, at least a couple fives kicking up here along the Java Trench area throughout the uh, afternoon and evening time frame in the Andaman Sea. Still ramping up here with earthquakes. We're looking at uh, at least a couple fours and at least a 5.3 earthquake into the area just southeast of the Port Blair area. Things still kind of ramping up in that region over the last 24 hours west coast guys has been pretty active i know a lot of people talking about uh you know earthquake activity along the west coast when we're seeing this ramping up of movement but uh in all my knowledge in all my years looking at the earthquake activity when we're seeing mega movement along the western pacific and areas adjacent here along the philippine plate westward things tend to calm down along the California area. It's that teeter-totter effect, and I, all, I always talk about it, and it comes true. And today is just a, it's, it's a no-brainer in the activity that we're seeing today. Large-scale movement along the Western Pacific, activity along the West Coast, very minimal. Very, very minimal. So I'm not gonna issue any type of earthquake watch for the uh, West Coast because we're not on it. Uh, things are just very uh, quiet for now along the West Coast area. Uh, as long as we're seeing large-scale movement along the Western Pacific and westward here, things are just kind of floating along with the plate tectonic um, diagram and the, and the westward movement, so to speak. So uh, West Coast activity, there's obviously there's some earthquake movement, but there's not anything of specifics. Um, that I'm noting here along the west coast the only thing that I would kind of point out here is along uh, basically along the uh, Imperial Fault the Brawley seismic zone and the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone seeing a little bit of movement tonight but uh, nothing here within the last hour so things may be just dying down here along this area it is very close to the San Andreas Fault, the southern end of the, the uh, plate boundary here. Major seismic hazard zone, but uh, nothing within the last hour within that region. Uh, as far as the rest, rest of the states, it kind of looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Some little microquake activity throughout the Oklahoma area. But uh, anything along the New Madrid zone eastward is kept to a minimal. 
Only a 1.3 and a 1.6 out here around the Elgin, South Carolina area. Things pretty quiet throughout the eastern part of the country. South America, about the same. Eastern or the uh, yeah eastern parts here into the Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Nothing showing up here across the board. The trimmer map tonight looks like about, oh my gosh, 11 epicenters. Holy smokes. Not a whole lot going on here in the Cascadia tonight, but that would be expected considering all the westward pressure movement, right? We're getting that pressure coming in, coming in from the east, uh, kicking up against the Japan and the Mariana Trench relieving activity out here along the west coast tonight uh what else we got here throughout the space weather department we'll go ahead and check these guys out real quick uh, we had a long duration m flare kickoff earlier this afternoon pretty substantial m flare i mean look at that that's that was very dynamic in terms of making itself known uh, the CME, or if there was a CME produced, it was directed away from Earth. The suspect is 3053, AR3053. Things could be coming in, uh, could be coming into view here, uh, far as specific flares, uh, in the future. We're looking at 3053 rotating into the Earth view. That could cause a, uh, disturbance or two in the in the solar flare department so we'll watch this guy pretty closely 3052 as well uh, there's a little bit of development trailing across here with the plague uh, further into the eastern limb of the sun we'll watch that pretty closely as the days progress so all right guys i gotta get out there and watch my uh, barbecue here on the friday night don't want to have some chicken jerky tomorrow uh, I did pop off some uh, oysters out there thanks to uh, Missy Mimi's and they were delicious I love barbecued oysters and uh, I ate them all <laughs> I ate them all because Missy Mimi's does not like them so I have no shame in being the uh, aggressor in terms of eating all the food as far as the oysters go I have no problem doing that. But, uh, man, I lost my voice for a second. Mm, goodness. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Have a good night. I'm going to watch the chicken here because that's what Missy Mimi's is checking on. Um, I need to make sure that's perfected. So we'll make sure that's uh, well taken care of. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys sometime tomorrow. Stay safe out there. Peace out, everyone.